headquarters in central London, Islam Channel provides alternative news, current affairs and entertainment programming from an Islamic perspective. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Islam Channel News. At Islam Channel News, we ask the questions others don't dare ask. With a perceived rise in Islamophobia, Islam Channel News may seem like an important alternative. But is it prone to propaganda like many other news organizations? Well, we don't believe in peddling propaganda. We adhere to strict journalistic rules. We tell both sides of the story fairly, accurately and impartially. Since its launch in 2004, Islam Channel has developed into a platform for ingenious and practical television, complementing the definition of good programming. There are more hopes resting on the shoulders of Barack Obama than on the shoulders of any American president since John F. Kennedy was elected in 1960. He opposed the Iraq war and has promised to end the US occupation of Iraq. But can he deliver? Broadcast in English, Islam Channel aims for its programming to appeal to both Muslims and non-Muslims. Moira, Mary, Maria, Mary, Maryam, Mother of Jesus, Isa alayhi salam. There are various reasons, really. Um, I mean, at the moment, we are seeing about 8,000 cases of TB per year. There is so much hard work, particularly done by that first generation. Explain to our viewers uh, something of that rich legacy. Uh, the Sokhto Caliphate was founded over 206 years ago. Islam Channel's fresh, contemporary approach to spreading the message of the Quran has attracted millions of viewers worldwide via its satellite footprint as well as online, consequently establishing itself as a leading English language Islamic focused channel available globally. Debate, and a big debate indeed, we're discussing fostering and adoption. There has to be a desire in people for whatever reason who want to look after children who are not their own natural children. Islam Channel has garnered certificates from reputable institutes such as the Institute of Directors, Commonwealth Broadcasting Association and the Association of International Broadcasting. Islam Channel's vision is to be the leading light of Islamic media by engaging viewers in meaningful discourse concerning all aspects of Islam. Islam Channel's programming content covers a variety of genres. There's lifestyle, educational, current affairs, children's entertainment, comedy, news and debates, just to name a few. Welcome to this week's City Sisters, the show that talks about what goes on in your lives and topics to inspire your soul. We'll be discussing a range of subjects relating to our environment, asking if you're doing your bit for the planet, and what does Islam have to say about all issues green? Islam Channel is available on Eurobird 1 and Hotbird at 13 degrees east. MultiChoice provides premium digital entertainment, content and services to millions of viewers across Africa. The Muslim Council of Britain, the Mayor of London's office, the Metropolitan Police and Islamic Bank of Britain are all supporters of Islam Channel's vision. Many documentaries are commissioned on the Islam Channel. He did shine and he did it as a true believer. The people in Mississippi as well as Mississippi, New York and elsewhere know that freedom comes to us either by ballots or by bullets. Islam Channel is popular amongst members of parliament, lords, ministers, prime ministers, mayors and ambassadors of UK to several countries that have shown their interest by participating in Islam Channel's programmes. By taking time to provide Ramadan and Eid greetings. Salam Alaikum. I'm delighted to send my warmest wishes to our British Muslim communities for the forthcoming celebration of Eid al-Fatir. Hi, I'm Jermaine Jackson, wishing all the Muslims a very happy Eid. On behalf of the American Embassy and the American people, I would like to extend our warmest greetings to you viewers. It gives me great pleasure through the Islam Channel to wish the many Muslim communities of Britain uh, the very best for Eid al-Fitr. The majority of Muslims surveyed do watch specialist and ethnic minority channels, although the most likely channel to be watched is BBC with 54% of viewers. 
Islam channel is a specialist channel most likely to be watched by the market share of 27% with more than half of those watch Islam channel watch it daily. To be included and mentioned in studies implemented by well-regarded establishments, the British Council, the British Foreign and Commonwealth Office conveys Islam Channel's efforts by recognising not only Muslims but non-Muslim bureaucrats too. The story of Islam Channel today is an extraordinary achievement. Islam Channel has dramatically grown and established a unique success globally broadcasting a service providing elements of independence, objectivity and freedom of expression, making Islam Channel a household name. an enormous inspiration to be in London tonight, to be amongst Muslims in their thousands, and to draw inspiration from you as you chart a course. And congratulations to the Islam Channel and everybody else who is involved in backing uh, this great event and who's participating in it. Being a British citizen and being a Muslim is incompatible. That was never true, and it is certainly not, in my view, true today. And for me, the existence of Islamophobia and the anxieties of some Muslims living in Britain about their long-term acceptance here. The best way to undermine a liberal society is to undermine the freedom of expression which we all enjoy, and I will never, ever do that. Compassion in the face of adversity, strength against those who seek to divide us, and hope as the foundation of integration. There must be no different treatment of Muslims from Christians and Jews and Hindus in this country because we are all equal before the law as well as before God. Martin Luther King once said, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. I'm uh, absolutely delighted to be here. My thanks to the Islam Channel, the organisers, and congratulations as well on achieving the huge scale of this event once again. When Bush said God told him to go into Iraq, that was not only a lie because God does not have an office in the White House, but also it was a dangerous thing to say. And I know this is a national event, but I think it's to London's great credit that we can hold such an event here in the heart of the East End. All the sounds that surround us, all the noises that dumbfound us. Oh, freeze all the shoulder in the air. I feel like he's near, the fears and tears are crazy. I am not afraid to stand alone. I want to live in a land called paradise Mola tu rab rehman hai Mainu baksh de, mainu baksh de
اللهم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مرحوما واجعل تفرقنا من بعده ساميا معصوما